Hello friends, I am Champion Mahipal. Now we are going to learn about C language. C language is made up of two words, C and language. Le language like other languages like English, which we use for communication. Here the language means the same. Language is used for communication between the user and the machine. Machine, our computer, user, we. We are the users and we need to communicate with the computer. So we use a language like a C language which we are going to learn in our few lectures. It is named C. Why it is named C? Because before the C languages, A language that is assembly language and the B that is binary coded decimal language has, had already been in, introduced. That is why it is named C language. It is invented by Dennis Ritchie in the 1972s in Bell Laboratories. Why it is so famous? Now we need to know why it is so famous. It is famous because of its features. It features like it is middle level language. What do you mean by the middle level language? Middle level language says that it is not high level language like Java or not low level language like machine languages. Machine language in which you have to code in 0 or in 1 or assembly language in which we need to take the review of or take the views of our memory it is middle level language second it easy to learn it is very easy to learn it uses words like int for the integer float for the floating points in all these things make it easy to learn as it is easy to learn, so debugging, de debugging in this is also very easy. And another feature is that it is case sensitive. If you write small a and capital A, both these are different. Today we are going to learn how a C program file become a executable file. First of all, we need to create a C file with the extension .c then we compile it in this the library files like studio.h conu.h are used if there is any error it go outside and we need to so resolve these errors after resolving these errors we again compile it after compiling the compiler converts our the converts our the source program into the machine code machine code that is executable program it is written in 01 it makes a file dot obj object file which can be executed which can be easily executed by the executor which is used in our which is used in our computer system this executable program is used in our computer today we are going to learn how to write our first C program. You can use any of the IDD, IDE available on the internet. I am using Dave C++ for this. You can use any other like Turbo C++ or any L other. First of all you should open a new file, new source file. Then we have to write our program here. First of all, we need to write hash include studio.h. Hash include is a preprocessor command which will tell the compiler you need to do something before compiling it. Studio.h is our header file. It is present in our library. Studio.h. It standard 
input output the main function of this file is to give us a standard input and output now we need to write wait main void is the return type of our main function main function is the function which is first executed by the compiler these braces shows that this is a function and these curly braces shows the start and end of the main function in between this we have to write our program i am writing printf as printf is a function we need this brace i am here i have given these double inverted commas in this i am writing hello these inverted commas are the uh, syntax in this uh, whatever we write here will be printed on the screen printf is a function defined in the studio.h header file now what we need to do is we need to compile it compile it will ask for save this you need to save this with .c extension i am saving this with hello dot c save it will compile this it is compiled now close now execute run hello this is all about our first c program today we are going to learn about two basic and very important concept of c language first one is command commands are helping text in your c program they are ignored by the compiler means these text help us in our c program like here we have given the header file we can comment it header file so in future we can know this is a header file there are two methods of giving the commands one is one line command like this and other is multi line command single line command can be given by these symbols to backslash then a command and multi line command is given by backslash star and is end by star backslash a b c x y z all these are ignored by the compiler if we write start of c program both these are ignored by the compiler this is a very basic and very important concept in the c language another is white space what is white space the spaces like these are the white space i can use here number of spaces there is no difference in this and the previous one compiler will do his job and execute it as similar as it was before see same so what is the difference why how we can use the white space the white space is used to make our program readable if i write this printf here there is no symmetry if i have given a single tab space so this will give the symmetry this is the use of the white space and a good c programmer should use 
the comments and the white space in a good manner. Today we are going to learn about basic data types in C language. In C there are many types of data type which are used to store data. So first question arises why we need different type of data types. The answer is answer lies in the question as there are different types of data available in the market or in the world we need different type of data types to store that data so data types are defined as the data storage format data storage format that a variable can store data to perform a specific operation we can store integer in integer type we can store character in character type floating values in float type and then can perform operations on them data types are mainly used to define a variable so that we can use that variable in our program data type is also used to tell the size of the variable as the size of a particular data type is predefined to define the size of constant and to define the size of array for all these data types are used here I am showing you the table which shows the size of different data types but one thing you should know that the size of the data types depends upon the CPU the CPU which I you using I am showing you here the size of the data types in 16 bit processor character type takes one storage byte and it ranges from minus 127 to 127 integer two storage byte and and it ranges from minus 3 to 767 to 32767 and float takes 4 byte double takes 8 byte and long double take 10 bytes long integer text 4 byte short integer text 2 byte unsigned short integer unsigned means that we can't use negative here range is from 0 to 65535 5, and it is of 2 bytes signed short integer sign means the negative sign is negative sign can also be used minus 3 to 767 to 3 to 767 long long integer signed long integer unsigned long integer unsigned long long integer thank you